Hello everyone, welcome to webutorial.com. We bring you world's hardest easy geometry problems. There are two such problems and they are drawn over here. In both these problems, we have to calculate the value of this angle x and over here angle x. In these two problems, what is common is that the angle at the base is same. Both are 80 degrees each in both the problems. But the difference lies in how the angles are split and they will lead us to different approach in solving these problems. So let us try to solve our first problem. So let us take a look at our first problem. In this problem what is present over here is that we have been given two angles over here and here which are of importance. That will give us the hint how to solve this problem. If you observe angle DBE is two times angle DAE and both of these angle are present on the same side DE. So we remember one of the theorems in circle in which the if we have the circle this is the center we have a chord angle subtended by the chord at the center is double the angle subtended at any other point. Okay so in this problem also we can imagine a circle which is passing through A, D and E and it has a center at B. Okay, the figure is not drawn to scale so pardon, about, pardon me about that. Okay, and you can imagine, right? So, now we have to find this angle X. Alright, now angle X is present on the chord DA. Take a look if DA subtends anything at the center B. And what we found that and angle DBA is 60 degree on the same chord DA. Therefore, angle DEA will be half of 60 degree will be 30 degree. So this is the solution. Now we will take a look at the second problem. Alright, this is our second problem. What happens over here is that if you look, uh, go by the same analogy, this is 20 degree, this is 30 degree. But then the, the double relation is not there, so obviously you cannot use it. We have a 60 and a 30 over here, but again, 60 is present on side EB and 30 is present on side DE. So obviously that circle analogy is not going to work. What we will do over here is that it's kind of very innovative. Okay, so let's try to see how this problem can be solved. All right. First of all, let us try to find whatever angles we can find and we can see that in triangle AEB, angle AEB will be 180 minus uh, 60 minus 80, okay? 60 is from here, 80 is from here, okay? And this angle we are trying to find. This is the angle that we are trying to find. So what we can write over here is that AEB is 40 degree, okay? So this angle is 40 all right similarly in triangle ADB we can see that angle ADB will be 50 degree okay this angle is 80 this angle is 50 so this angle also has to be 50 degree all right what is important over here is that if this is 50 and this is 50 then this side must be equal to same as this side okay so far so good now what we will do over here is that we will draw a line parallel to AB through E. Okay. Uh, let me choose a different color. Yeah, this is better. Okay. Then let us join this point with B. And we have a point of intersection. Let us call it G. So this point is G and let's call this point as F. Okay and also join this line DG okay now we will try to see what is going to happen in this problem all right first of all observe in the trapezium AB EF what is observed in this case is that we have a trapezium in which the base angles are both equal all right let me just draw it for you so it is given that these two base angles are both 80 degree. So this angle will be 100 and this angle will also be 100 degree as these two lines are parallel. Okay. What is important over here is that 
these two angles the opposite angle add up to 180 degree that means ABEF is cyclic if it is a cyclic uh, trapezium then again we can imagine a circle around it which passes through the points A, B, E and F okay if we have a circle like that this angle will be same as this angle and we can call this angle as 40 degree okay this angle this total angle is going to be 60 degree because it is alternate with this and this angle also is going to become 60 degree because this angle is present on the same chord EB and it subtends this angle as 60 degree. So I'll just write down these things for you. What we have found is that angle GFE equal to angle FEG equal to 60 degree. Okay. This means that triangle FEG is equilateral. This means that FE will be same as EG will be same as FG okay now take a look in triangle GAB what it happens is this since this angle is 60 this will also be 60 this angle is 60 therefore this is also equilateral if this is also equilateral what we can observe over here is that GA will be same as uh, GB will be same as AB okay Take a look at this result. We had found that ADB is 50 degree and AD was same as AB. Okay, so AD is same as AB. We have AB over here. We can write AD over here as well. Now observe this GA and AD. Since these two are same, that makes triangle ADG isosceles. All right, now this triangle over here is isosceles with something like this this is isosceles this angle is 20 degree so obviously these two angles are going to be 80 degree okay so angle ADG equal to 80 degree this implies that angle FDG is going to be 100 degree okay take a look uh, let me draw a line in triangle um, FDG in triangle FDG what is happening is that we have an angle FDG 100 degree we have this angle as 40 degree that we had found over here uh, let me locate it for you this angle over here we had found this angle to be 40 degree so the other angle over here will also become 40 degree if this thing is happening then what we can say is that FDG is also isosceles if FDG is also isosceles, then we can say that DF is same as DG. Okay, now take a look at this quadrilateral over here, which is D, G, E and F. In this case, we have got DG same as DF and EF same as FG, which makes it a kite and in this case the diagonal is just drawn over here so it will bisect these two angles and both these angles will be 30 degree which is the solution that we were looking for so take a look at this again what we have done is that we drew a parallel line then we were able to understand this trapezium to be cyclic trapezium then we have proved two triangles one over here the another one over here as equilateral then we proved this triangle to be isosceles then this triangle to be isosceles and proved that this quadrilateral was a kite this is how we arrived at the solution for this so these were the two hardest problems in geometry and this is very popular on the web we bring these concepts and we teach you how to use these concepts in our regular classes you can take a look at the complete solution in this new much better looking sheet so this is the solution for that